Today we're building a PC inside of a fish tank. This is something that we've been planning for a while and sure it's been done before, but we really wanted to create something unique for the office. A showpiece that grabs attention the moment customers walk in. We figured what better way to make an impression than a fully functional PC submerged in mineral oil. Planning the build wasn't as hard as it might sound. Cooler Master even came through by sending us the perfect frame that fits inside of this tank. That saved us a lot of time searching for compatible parts, especially since the dimensions were a bit tricky to work with. We decided to go with a 35 gallon fish tank, not too small but big enough to make an impact. The next part was the most challenging step finding the right amount of mineral oil to fill this thing. I knew we'd need a lot, but I didn't expect just how much effort it would take. The mineral oil alone costed over $1,000 and tracking it down was almost next to impossible. I had to call over 10 different stores, either they didn't have the right oil or not enough of it. In hindsight, I probably would have gone for a smaller tank, something around 10 to 20 gallons. It would have been more manageable and cheaper too. After gathering everything, it was finally time to prep the tank. I wanted to decorate the bottom with rocks, fake grass, and a few other pieces that would give it a cool aesthetic. A day before, I pre soaked all the decorations and mineral oil overnight to keep them from making the oil cloudy over time. You can even see that the color of the mineral oil changed from clear to green overnight. It's a good thing to pre-soak this before you put it into the tank otherwise it'll make the entire build look cloudy. At first I tried siphoning the oil off the decorations but the oil was too thick for that. So I had to do it the hard way and manually pull out each piece one by one. Definitely a little bit of a messy job but it worked. Once the tank floor was ready and everything looked just the way I wanted it it was time to install the PC. Getting the actual computer into the tank was a little bit tricky because the oil makes everything slippery and heavy. If you're thinking about trying this yourself, I'd highly recommend bringing a friend along to help. It's not something you want to attempt solo unless you like juggling slippery parts. With the PC in place, we started pouring the mineral oil in. We used six 20 liter pails, which was just enough to submerge the entire build. If the tank were any bigger, we probably would have needed another pail or two. So now let's talk about how this works without frying the actual PC or the components. Well, the key is the high quality non-conductive mineral oil. Since it doesn't conduct electricity, electricity, the components can run safely while being submerged. It's also non-toxic, so you don't need to wear gloves or goggles to handle it, but be warned, it's pretty messy stuff. Something we didn't do, but I would highly recommend is to get a Bluetooth or wireless receiver that can power on the PC and turn it off remotely. Since we didn't have that laying around, we ended up just turning the PC on before submerging it and it's probably going to stay on for the rest of its life. The power button is actually super hard to access and if I were to turn it off I'd have to dunk my entire hand into the fish tank. The whole process of building it from start to finish only took about an hour which isn't so bad considering how elaborate this build looks. And I have to say there's just something so satisfying about watching these fans and all the RGB spin under oil. Now whenever a customer walks into the shop this setup will become an instant conversation starter. Just on the first day we had it built the customer already started asking does it actually work? How does it not short circuit? It. Isn't it hard to maintain? And honestly, it's exactly what we were aiming for. It's not just a cool piece of tech, it's also a way to engage with customers and make their experience more memorable. We're already brainstorming other fun ideas for the shop, maybe another submerged build, maybe something different. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see.